What's up everyone, Lion Roar here, and it is December 1st, and you know what that means. We have a brand new hero of the month in Empires and Puzzles. It is Leadria, a very interesting and unique anthem effect hero. So of course, I'm going to do a breakdown and give her a grade. But first, download Gemstone Legends, a mobile RPG puzzle match game. Use the link in the description to start with free stuff, including a bonus hero. All right, so it's been a very long time, or actually, I don't even remember if there's been a time that we've gotten a hero of the month that has an anthem effect like Leadria does. I'm going to talk about that in just a minute, but let's look at some of the basic stats and passives she has going on here. So, of course, she's a five-star nature hero, and she is of the cleric class. The cleric class is not one of my favorites, um, but it's fine. Typically, uh, if you're going to give emblems to her, it's just going to be for the stat boost, probably not for the actual cleric effect, especially because a lot of passives in this day and age are, are pretty good. So she's got boosted health from dead minion. This character recovers 50 boosted health when a minion owned by them is destroyed. However, I gotta say 50 health is like nothing in this day. So that passive is not great. Um, the second passive res resist max health reduction. This character has an innate resistance against max health reduction. Okay. So like the title of it, it's exactly like what it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's actually good if uh, you're able to get a lot of um, max health increase. So um, that's fine. And it's a little bit sneaky in that it's hard to actually kill a hero like this. Sometimes you're just like wondering like what is taking so long for it to die. Um, so it's a sneaky kind of passive. But there's nothing too special going on with the passives. Uh, what we got going on for base stats. Um, after fully leveling her when you first get her are 832 attack. 916 defense and 1623 HP. That's a tough hero. 916 and 1623 on the defensive stats are pretty darn good. And if you want to go ahead and max those out by limit breaking her twice, that's 1086 attack, uh, 1202 defense, which is absurd, and 2241 HP. And also, you get the defense up if you limit break her twice. At the start of each battle, this hero gets a plus 20% defense for six turns. I personally like higher defense for straight direct damage, although the HP is better if there's a lot of uh, status ailments on the battlefield. Um, in battles with multiple waves, the effect is refreshed at the beginning of each wave. Okay, um, now let's take a look at the special. Spirit of Spring, average speed. If you put a mana troop on it, you can um, reduce uh, the amount of tiles needed. Um, for this to go off to make it functionally fast. Um, so I think that that's important. I know it doesn't make her fast, but functionally fast going from 10 to 9 uh, is always always really good because it's like the difference between three matches and four matches oftentimes. Um, and what this special does is summons a Spirit of Spring minion for all allies with 30% HP inherited from the caster. That's a pretty big minion. Um, that's going to give her a lot of HP on top of the HP she already has. Um, and uh, everybody else for that matter. Uh, those are big minions. Um, but also, when summoned, the Spirit of Spring minion boosts 100 health for its owner as long as the owner has a Spirit of Spring minion. This effect can't be dispelled. Uh, and that is a really great way to keep your whole team alive. It's a very defensive type of special. Uh, but this is what I find really intriguing about this special. All allies special skill deal an additional plus 20% damage for four turns. And that's where the anthem effect really comes in here. So for those of you who don't know, an anthem effect is something where everybody gets some kind of boost. Not only are they getting the boosted health, but I really see an anthem effect as one that is allowing everybody to have some kind of like increased attack or damage, which is what's happening here. Um, so you absolutely want to pair her with heroes that are going to be doing a lot of uh, direct damage. And so that can be area of effects, dealing it to everybody, which I personally think is the best way to, to do this is to pair a couple of big damage dealers with her. Um, uh, but it can be, I mean, if you have to bring a sniper or two along, it's fine. They're actually going to be dealing maybe just that last little bit more you seem to need with a sniper to actually take you out an opposing hero. 
Uh, because it's a hero of the month, you also get this elemental link that gives all nature allies plus 10% additional special skill damage for four turns. This effect can't be dispelled. Um, so now we're getting extra uh, special skill damage on top of it, um, which I think is really cool. I mean, um, this this is an awesome Anthem effect, uh, which I think is extremely valuable to your whole team. Where I think she could potentially come in the most use, and I think my opinion on this might differ from a lot of people, but it's really just Titans. Um I think you can take her along with an elemental defense debuff or regular defense debuff or maybe another attack increaser. Um, and if, if you have uh, heroes on your Titan team that are dealing direct damage, she's just going to increase it that much more. In which case, you probably want to uh, follow the sword path um, if you are going to limit breaker and give her emblems. Um, and um, so I just to increase the attack a lot more because it would be useful against Titans. But I think the Anthem effect could also be really good in farming. Um, I think it could be really good in events. Um, but here's the thing. And this is where my opinion on Leadria, Leadria really takes a turn. And that is that she doesn't do much more than the Anthem effect. And Empires and Puzzles has been around a long time. There's a, there's a lot of really powerful heroes now that you've got to do more than just give an anthem effect to your team. So when you're going PvP into war or uh, the watchtower or um, you know things like that, I just I'm not sure this is enough to be on an offense or a, especially a defense. Like if you have to put her on defense, of course the flank is the best spot. Maybe even the tank if you can get her defense and HP high and she boosts the uh, HP of all the other heroes um, and then gives them increased skill damage and they have a bunch of AOE effects or something like that. That could be fine. I can see ways you could, you know, absolutely synergize the defense for her, but the effect she has is just not powerful enough to be on any kind of A team or B team or anything like that, certainly. Um, with really good synergies, maybe she could be on a C type of team. Um, offense, I think she's a little better on offense when you can bring several green heroes to get the elemental link uh and you're certainly gonna have to go with direct damage dealing heroes um you know it it's almost like leadria is almost there i would like to have seen her do her own damage um maybe the minions or something like that um dealing some kind of uh big direct damage and i don't know like <sighs> she's just missing something um, I'd like to see her do more to advance the strategy of the offense um, rather than just Anthem. An Anthem paired with something would have been really good. She's just lacking that. And for that reason, I don't think she's going to be able to be used in most scenarios. Um, I actually think I'm probably going to be more favorable in grading her than most people because I like the skill. I just think it's lacking a whole lot. I'm going to give her a C-. minus. But I can absolutely understand why people would call her a D hero or an F hero. And I really think that's becoming coming from a place of um, she used to have a better effect and better stats in beta testing, but she got nerfed before release. So people are just really disappointed in that. They were looking forward to a hero that was going to do more, albeit the hero still wouldn't have been that great even with that. And so now it just appears so disappointing. I don't think she's completely worthless. That's why I'm not going below a C minus. I think that you can really find ways to make her work if you're a free to play or cheap to play player. But I don't think you have to chase her by any means. I think if you happen to have her and you level her up, you can find some utility. If you're not pay to win is basically where I'm at with this. So anyway, those are my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'm always curious. And if you enjoy videos like this, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. And I will catch you in the next one.